Hey Dinesh, hi Meet, Mahesh, Seema, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Great. Okay. Switch on the videos, guys. That's the rule for the doubt session, right? Come on, come on. Videos. Good to see you, Dinesh. Yeah, hi, Akhilesh. Hey, Mahesh. So, who will start first? What's the update? Any new update? Mahesh, what's the update? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Dinesh, did you practice anything after Sunday? <laughs> Yeah, I actually tried out uh, uh, the backend data that we have for our orders yeah, for the last mm -hmm. uh, three years. I pulled out the data. <clears throat> I don't have it now, but it's in my office laptop. But interesting is that, you know, I was able to get this, uh, uh, what do you call diagrams? Some pivot, mm -hmm. some charts. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, the issue, what I, what I found was, you know, I was not able to get the margin. Say, for example, uh, we are buying... At ten dollars, we're selling it at fourteen dollars. When we're selling it at fourteen dollars, we pay four percent commission to somebody, and then the minus that commission comes sales after uh, deduction of commission. That we minus with the purchase price. The difference we divide by the sales, we get the margin, right? Okay. And uh, <clears throat> when we had this in the Excel sheet, uh, when when the margin was 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 selected as average. Then it was taking the average of all the 10,000 rows of that margin here, mm. which is actually so. I tried median, I tried average, uh, but somehow I it will not work. It. it will not work because here you need something like some product which has to do the calculation line by line, okay, or yeah. maybe at the overall level. So, so you will. I went to measure, I went to mm. measure as new measure, and in new measure, I tried to use the uh, uh sum of the sales after discount minus the, mm -hmm. the purchase price divide by this so then it, the formula didn't work and maybe i'm wrong somewhere you know so okay i, I will share you uh, something i'm having a basic data but you can get the idea okay let me know okay. if my screen is visible <laughs> yeah 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 something like this i made today <laughs> yeah. okay very good not very as good. not as perfect as this <laughs> that's fine you will reach that it's just one session you have been part of right <laughs> Okay. okay, so here I am having this data. Let's say we talk about PNL. Okay, this is the PNL. Yeah, we are having uh, where is revenue here? Revenue is there, yeah. and we are having the COGS. Okay, gross okay. profit is also there, but <laughs> let's assume that that is not there. Okay, yeah. so what you will do, most of the people. <laughs> they will create new column here itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sales like revenue minus Cox. So if I click on new column, it is activating the blank column. Okay. And here, like we have seen earlier, we can go for revenue minus Cox, and that will give us gross profit. Now, since gross profit or gross gross profit is already there. I will use yeah. this. Yeah. So let's say you are calculating margin percentage, right? So I will yeah. say margin percentage. And then what is the formula? It's simple. Gross profit divided by revenue. That's what people yeah. say, right? So I yeah. will say gross profit divided by revenue. Fine. Yeah. And when I press enter, it gives me the correct margin and i can press this percentage one to see so 53 percent is the margin for this line now let us check yeah. fact check so profit was 7800 roughly out of yeah. 14600 yeah. it looks like 50 say just above hair right yeah. it is yeah. just more than 50 percent so number is coming line correct line by line okay now the problem comes when I am adding this gross margin percentage as in a table, 
or in a cart. Okay, let's in take a table. In a cart, okay. 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 So okay. what it does, it is doing, what is that? Okay, this is not the correct one. This margin percentage, okay, margin percentage. This is what we created. So what it has done, it has automatically added it because that's how it plays with the numbers most <laughs> of the time. Yeah. Let me make the screen font bigger. Okay. I hope it's visible properly now. Yeah. yeah so what right. it has done, it has taken the margin percentage of each line and because by default, the nature of uh, Power BI or pivot tables is it will add the numeric columns. Yeah. Yeah. But this is not what we want. So then yeah. you thought, okay, let me do something else here. Let me bring it again just to see the difference. I will go here and I will say, no, no, sum is not correct. Let's take the average. Yeah. But average is 46.52. But that yeah. is average of all of them. All the number, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What if this was at 90% and this was at maybe 10% and the average would come around 50 or 40. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what if I have sold here maybe 9 million and here I have sold only 90,000 then my average would not work. 50% is not correct because one of them yeah. is having a higher weightage. Yeah. So we need to take a weighted average. So for that what needs to be done we cannot simply take the average. We cannot take the sum. It is closer to the accurate, but it is not accurate. Yeah. So what we need to do, we need to create a measure, new measure. And here I will do whatever I was doing for this column at an overall level. So what I will type, I will say, can you please sum my gross profit? So it will take the summation of original values of the gross profit mm -hmm. in the table. Divide by, can you please divide it by sum of revenue? Okay. So earlier it was calculating the percentage and then we were summarizing it. Now mm. we are summarizing and then we are <clears throat> taking the ratio between gross profit and revenue. Okay. Let's name it as margin percentage in the form of measure. When I press enter, and I bring it here, this is 0.45. So there's a slight difference, okay? But if the one city is selling higher or one line is selling higher, much higher than the others, is it will make a lot of difference. So this is the correct way of doing it. So you try this method and it should give you correct results. Okay. So okay. what what I want to do is uh, <clears throat> what, what we have is uh, we have to first minus after the commission. Okay. So you have a commission value? Yes, commission value. So we have a sales uh, net amount that we pay the supplier. Mm -hmm. Then we charge higher to the buyer. Then the buyer gets the commission for the services. No problem. Right. So here so it's then... a simple thing. Okay. You need a numerator. Whatever is your net profit or gross profit or gross contribution, whatever you want to call it, that value okay. you generate. Maybe okay. it can be A, it can be A minus B, it can be A minus B minus C, whatever. Okay. Different layers okay. may be there of commission, right? So okay. you get the net profit. Okay. Uh, net profit is not the right word. The uh, net gross profit, I would say, and okay. then divide it by the revenue. That will give you the correct margin. <laughs> okay. okay. Sum. Okay. Sunday Sum. Okay. Ko we can connect uh, when we are uh, facing each other again, Sunday or whenever okay. is the next class. And okay. at the time, if you can bring the sample data, maybe I can show you uh, live. Okay. 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 With yeah, the data, it will be easier, but this is the method. Understood. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Next question. Kumar, Galaxy, who else is there? Gerard. Okay, we have Prashant, Abhimanyu, Mohammed. Yes. Who is next? Next question. Pucho, bhai, pucho. Sorry, one more question. We have a Power BI class also today, is it? 
No, it is mix. Uh, whatever you want to ask. Okay. Okay, this is a loud session, not class today. Yeah. Next question. Sherwin? Yes. Hi, Mr. Glesh. Yeah. Um, Video. I have a question. I have actually... Yes, just a second. I just don't want... Huh. Yeah, I hope you can see me. Yes. Very well. All right. Uh, I actually would like to share my screen and I made a sample uh, some sheet hmm. let me just open that just a second well I'm not able to you should be able to yeah yeah Others be ready with the questions. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yes. Uh, and now, okay. Then can I sh share the screen? Yes, yes. Okay, can you see? It's coming. Yeah. Well, I have created this. Uh, it's just just for me. It's uh one second. Yeah, I actually wanted to create a two year report. Just mm. simple. I'm just learning it uh, with the samples, just to make a difference between the sales 2022 and 2023. Okay. Okay. So, uh, when I create what is it okay see here i made it uh one two three four five column here mm -hmm. category labor type month sales year when i say month it's like in a year january february all this and the year okay so where you can see the sales is showing zero i don't know okay. why but on my uh Actually, say there are numbers. Okay, so from here you can see twenty twenty three all zero. There are some zero. There are some numbers. Totally zero. Not all. There, there, no. There are cells which shows numbers as well. Hmm. But I'm not sure why. I tried to figure out the why, but I'm not able to. Is the Excel file open? That, if you can help me. So yeah, the sure. current question so, is why uh, this is coming zero, right? Yeah, correct. So okay. this Open is the Excel file. Excel file. Yeah. Yeah. Your Excel is not visible. Only Power BI is visible. So oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Let me open that. Share the... You have to stop sharing and then share it again. Others, yeah. please be ready with the files and questions. Can you okay. see now? Fine. So can you show me June? Uh, switch to Power BI also. Can you show the full desktop so that we can switch easily between the two windows? Yeah, sure. Uh, you have to unshare and then... stop share and yeah. Yes, stop share and reshare. Hi, Mahinder. Is not selecting it. When you share, there is an option of desktop. Okay, share. Yeah, that. yeah just I, I done done. I know. Oh, it, it is still Power BI, same way, same method. Yeah. No, uh, no I did both. both you can there, no? Okay, I will request a control. Okay, please allow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So switch to Power BI. 
Power BI. Yeah, this is Let's look at one of the item. Okay, what is zero? You have other section, labor type is various customer adjustment and June 1, 2022, right? That's zero. Go to Excel. Yeah. Where's June 2022? Can you identify that That's line? The... Yeah, here. Yeah. Others. What was that? Labor uh, type? That's there is a various adjustment is zero originally for the zero yeah. uh, for the June, but so still the there are more. It, let me just go back to Power BI. one item which you are suspecting that it became zero and it should not be zero. In 2022, okay. yeah, sure. I don't think that's the case. See here, for here, yeah. for example, in 2022, Others, it's 800 here, right? Jobs, June 2022. Okay, go to Power BI. In the labor type, select in house jobs. Shall I can take a select? Or? No, you, you can select in house jobs. Oh, Click OK. okay. Sorry. I think we have selected all of them again. In house jobs and click OK. Okay. Yeah, even the category. Oh, I this put, is there. And how Look this is not showing full others. This is there. Look at this. This no, is the line 800. Even the ca category. Look, so it is all related category, to data. data uh, in house should be all. So in 2023, it is having category as blank in-house jobs okay but look at this that 800 which you are trying to find it is there oh, okay. look at this line it is there okay so you don't ex don't expect it to be sorted properly okay the data is there maybe it is up down depending on whatever has happened after merging in the power query mm -hmm. okay now can you go to okay. excel also november october september okay in-house jobs Excel for 2023. Show me in 2023. Yeah, in house yeah. jobs, which line it is there? See here, other. Other section. It's here, other, other is there. Yeah, but it, there in the Power BI, it doesn't show. Okay. What is the value in a particular month? Let's say go to October. What is the value in October for in-house jobs? October is here the 9,047. Right? It is up to yeah. November. It should be 6785. It is up to December. Go up. No, the now October number. Sorry, now yeah, yeah. Number is uh, Two four six zero, for example. Number is two four six zero. Go to Power because BI. There is not December here. Okay, fine. Go to Power BI. Yeah. So here, can you see October nine zero four seven in house job category is empty. Now I will go inside yeah. this twenty twenty three table. I will right click. Can you right click year twenty twenty three and click on Edit Query on the right side table, in the table. This one? Uh, in the no, table. right side, right side, data and the table name is there. Yeah. Year 2023. Right click the this table one. name and edit query. Edit query. Okay. That window, bring it to the screen. Power query window must have opened, right? Yeah. It is not visible. Can you bring it? It's uh, so the window is not visible again. No, we can see the old Power BI. Go, I'm sharing. 
are you having two windows two monitors displays no no one one second so you're sharing is having the issue i'm sharing guys are you able to see power query others Yes, now we can see. Oh, yes, now we can see. Great. Go before unpivoting. Go before unpivoting. Fourth, fifth step from the bottom. Up, up, up. Yeah, little bit up. Okay. Remove columns. Go to previous step. Previous one, previous one. Don't click anything. Just uh, don't remove anything. Okay, good. Here. Go down. Others in our job. Okay. You have unpivoted what? Yeah. Can you click on unpivoted? Click on unpivoted. Next one. Mm -hmm. You have unpivoted category and labor type. Okay. And here, scroll down. Or maybe you can search for labor type as in-house jobs. You can scroll down. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, in-house jobs. I'm not able to. Yeah, in-house jobs, it's coming. Yeah. 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 So here, yeah. 9047, that's coming. Correct. Okay. Go next. Yeah. Rename columns. Go to next step. Rename columns. That's fine. Added custom yeah. columns. Next, next step. Okay, year as year twenty twenty three. Okay, and change types. What is change types? Okay. In added so here, columns, the. What was added columns? Yeah, in added columns. Add columns here in the year. If you look at it, it shows A, B, C, and one, two, three. I remember that you mentioned that on the video. Uh, if it shows A, B, C, and one, two, three, there should be some error. No, it means it is. It has not detected any data type. Okay, it means it has okay. not detected any data type. It is not wrong. It will treat mm -hmm. it as a text. Okay, but I will give you one idea. The year column. You don't need X as such. The month column is there to support it. You can extract it out of month. Right? Month column is already okay. there. That can generate the year yeah. column. Let me show you how. If I select this column month. Okay. Okay. First, mm -hmm. it has to be. Okay. Let's go for change type. Then we will see. So this should be formatted into a date column. Month column should be formatted into a date. So if I go there okay. and click on date, now that's the correct format. Once it is a date, you can generate year, quarter, anything out of it. If you go to add column. Okay. And here, do you see date section? Because current column is a date. So if you go there, yeah. it will show you all the derivatives, whatever can be extracted out of it. So let's say I want to extract mm -hmm. year. I go to year section and click on year. It will show you 2023 out of that. Automatically. Okay. But I don't need it. You have kept it. No problem. Just to tag that which data is coming from where. That's fine. Now let's come to sales 2022 and 2023. Here I think something is happening. Source. Okay. You have combined both of them. Filtered rows, you have filtered nothing. So let's delete this step. Okay, now I got it. Okay, now, so that was the... I, there, there was a step here. There was an unnecessary step here. And now do, do you see here? Okay. Category, if I go up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Category. And category. Ah, uh, okay. Category. So two category. Oh, oh. Two categories are coming. Why two are coming? Both are looking same. Mm. If I double click one of them, uh, can I? Can I? 
can I scroll it down and see if all the categories are showing? One, uh, on one the is first applicable. One? This this one is applicable. Left one is applicable for 2022. This one is applicable for 2023. Mm -hmm. Now I'll show you the difference. What is the issue? Okay. When I click here, do you see there is a space after Y over here? In this category, that there is an extra really... space. And in this oh, category, okay. there is no extra space. And that's why it is not able to merge it together. So one year, you are able to see the category. For the other year, it is showing blank. Because you are using one of the category. Mm -hmm. Ideally, it should be only one column. You should not have any choice of selecting. So what I will do, oh. you go to one of the 2022, let's say, if we go there, double click i will remove that space space enter so it will add one more step rename the column so category with the space became category without space okay 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 now if i go back to the same query where merging was happening it will not have that confusion it will only have another Here, you deleted something, the important category you deleted. So let us remove that. So five columns are there. Yes. Sixth column is not there because now it is able to put them one below other because of the same name. Earlier, the name was different. So it was yeah. considering it as a separate column. And you thought, okay, top cells are coming blank. So you deleted it unnecessarily. Okay. Yeah. Filtered True. rows. Yeah. Let's see what you are doing here. Nothing. So unnecessary. If you are not filtering, then no need of that step. So I will okay. delete that step. Change type. Yes, you can go through the data and change again. So that's okay. Filtered rows. Here also nothing is happening. So delete this step. And okay. then home tab close and apply yeah as you mentioned that uh, i don't need another year category i mean year tab as column so we, yes. we can use the same month column for year and this right you can use month itself practically you know you won't need okay. anything okay because month can give you everything so now you can see okay. whether it is 2022 and, uh, or 2023 yeah. others is appearing for all the in-house jobs Okay. Yes. Correct. So uh, for yeah, everyone, yeah. what is okay. the learning got here? Got Our query is case sensitive. Any spelling change, any like even if category C is capital in one of the side and otherwise other side it is C small, it will not consider them as the same columns. And that is why it was not able to place them one below other. It was considering them as separate, two separate columns. Okay. Yeah. Aglish, uh, how did you identify that actually? That's a uh, that's a tricky <laughs> part. How we how Anyone we can who identify? Is here that? can uh, <laughs> tell me. Who can tell me? How did I identify? I think you because, went in the root cause yeah. to see the space between the columns are equal. Or the space ka pata kaise laga ki kuch hai? Simply because uh, it always shows null. Yes. So one thing was there were two columns for category and we were in the process of merging them together. Now, if we are merging and if other columns have been merged and category is coming twice, that means power query is considering them different from two different data sets. So if, if it is different, then the most probable cause for that difference is the name of the column is not same. Now, spelling wise, I was suspecting the, the change in the spelling. Okay. But the spelling was exactly the same. Then the next best thing or worst thing which can happen is that the, by mistake, sometimes we type one extra space at the end. Okay. So two columns gave me a direction that the names are not matching. And then I double clicked on each name. Okay. Because it was not visible through the eyes. So it must be something like space. That's how I identified. Mm. 
Okay. Good. Yeah, next good. question, guys. And uh, Who's next? for this month, yeah. Uh, sorry, um, for this month, uh, how do I take quarterly from here? Okay. So like here, you, this you is the measure, data set. right? This is a data set. No need yeah. for measure. If I go to reporting view, okay. Every month, mm -hmm. every date is actually automatically generating the date hierarchy. If you see, if you open this month, date hierarchy, if I open that, I will have all the derivatives automatically, year, quarter, month, and day. Okay. okay. So you can use anything. Mm -hmm. Your main role should be to classify okay. something as a text, uh, sorry, a date, and then other things are easily possible. If something is missing, we will write some functions, no problem. If we will take help of Power Query, okay? But don't keep something okay. as a text, Understood. which is like a date. Don't keep it as a text. Okay. Okay. Understood. And yes. if I need to bring it, for example, uh, now this is the sales. If I need to bring the forecast of this from the in between uh, to, for the 2022 and 2023, just to compare it, how do I hmm. bring the forecast? like? different excel so I, I don't know how and... where is the data and how it looks okay but uh, mohammed let's take it after some time once other questions are resolved okay we'll come back again if time no. permits okay no problem that's fine yeah okay yes i leave the page next? for somebody yeah who is next Uh, hello, this is Priyankika here. Uh, yes. Can you hear me? Please share your screen and ask your question. Um, and if possible, switch on the video also. Yes. What is the question? Uh, this, uh, I am getting this... Uh, can you see now? Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, I'm getting this uh, Excel uh, sheet from my bank uh, every month for interest calculation for each uh, loan. Uh, each loan. Okay. So I need to uh, combine this. I'm, I'm manually doing like this. Is there any better way? Because I tried uh, to run query also. It didn't work because of this space. Click, click on the... Uh... Click on the data here. I will try to take control. Yes. Let me see the current structure properly. But interesting problem. Okay. And I think most of our st uh, statements are like that for all of us. So here, some top rows are there, which can be removed using Power Query easily. Then we have some blank lines. Okay. And then here, we are having start date then that's empty so everything is there in i think one single column okay one single uh, column column so yeah. let's try to make this column bigger okay so everything is there in one single cell itself and then the challenge is that it is overflowing also to the another line it is not just one single column, it is multiple rows also. The in between two lines, not required. This one this is a repetition of the first row. So I can ignore this. This, sec this line is not required? Yeah, I can ignore it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Fine. So then I think it is the problem of splitting. Okay. Let's try to do it using. Power Query, okay? okay, or which which Excel you are using? Let me try something else also. I don't know what is between the two sections here. I think it is space. Okay, it's space. So if I let, let's try some functions. Okay, simple trim. And I am taking this. 
and press enter. So it is having space, but now space is only one. Earlier it was repetitive because of various reasons. Okay. So now I got a better text. I'm just giving you idea for one of them. Okay. But this is all coming in one single place. And we know that space is something which is the separator. So in the next line, what I can write, I'm not sure whether that formula is there in your Excel or not. But there is a function known as text. Okay, you don't have that function, but there is a function known as text split. Okay. okay. Uh, if it is Office 365 latest version, that function is there. Okay. I will try to copy paste this particular cell. If it is possible, I will copy and show it in my screen. Give me a moment. Let me see if copy paste is allowed between these systems or not. Uh, no, it is not allowing. Can you share this file if uh, it's possible? Yeah, I can share. Yeah, just share one of the sheet oh. uh, in the Zoom chat or maybe you can put it on the WhatsApp, whichever way. And I will show it to you. Okay. Some option is possible. Others, next question until then, I will have this file and then come back to it again. Hi, Shreyash, you are late today. I, yeah, I totally forgot. I, mean, I thought it's tomorrow. I'm just 8.30. I saw somebody post that I could not join. I had started the meeting. So I just mm. <coughs> joined just now. Okay. Any other questions, guys? I'm receiving the file from her and then we will show it again. So, Taptak, I will open my Excel sheet. Mohammed, you are sharing something? Mohammed? No, I'm Your not voice sharing. is not coming. You are on mute. Yeah, I'm not sharing. Is it anything you can see? There is a uh, Muhammad Akhtar also. Uh, this is different Muhammad Akhtar. Oh, sorry, yes. it's not me. Muhammad Akhtar, you are on mute. Uh, I don't have HV the Excel files now, but I want to consolidate the trial balance of three different units of my company. Some heads yeah. are the same, but most. Yes, Akhtar. I was saying that the script is showing you, I'm going to open your file. You have given me a link. So this is a message. This page has been blocked by my Microsoft Edge. Did you try on uh, Chrome also? Yes. yes. Chrome browser? Akhtar, you are on mute again. Try different browser. I think it is the problem of Edge because the error message also says that this page is blocked by Microsoft Edge. So try micro, uh, Google Chrome, Firefox. Okay, we have been using the uh, courses. I think some people mentioned it on the portal. So we checked it day before yesterday. Okay, it was working fine. So try a different wow. browser and then it should work. Otherwise, write to support at datasense.com and one member will connect with you and try to solve it. But there is no, no problem with the portal. Take a second. Huh. Okay, I've received that file. Any other person before that? If not, then will share my screen. Yeah, 
Can I also turn with you? Can you see my Excel? Yes. Okay. So I will copy this sheet once more so that whatever I'm doing doesn't impact the original one. And this is what I did, right? Trim of A17. So the good part was whatever number of extra spaces were there here, it became only one. Okay. Now my job is to split this cell based on that space. So how will I do it? If you are having Office 365, Office 365 came up with a good function recently. That function is known as text split. Okay. Otherwise you will go for text to columns and other things. So it is doing the same job, but it is, it will make your life easier. Okay. So this I am writing. And if that, if you are having office 365 and you don't have this function, you can try this thing. Uh, there's something known as office insider. So install this and it will give access to those new functions, which are not yet rolled out for general public. Office Insider. Now, I will write a function over here. Let me show it to you at the bottom. Equal text split. And then it is asking, where is the text? So I will say the text is here. Comma. Then it is asking, what is the delimiter to separate it in columns? And I will mention that my separator is and space. So double quote space and close the inverted commas. Then we can close. And when I press enter, you see cell number one, cell number two, cell number three. If it was empty, that's fine. No, it's not empty. Four is there. And it has given me the perfect data in different, different sets. So what I would write. Okay, I have shown it in different, different stages. I can start writing it here itself. So what I will write, this was after removing these spaces, I will use text split here itself. And then I will say the delimiter for column to be separated is space and close the bracket here itself. Press enter. And we got our separate results. Now we just need to drag it down for all the rows and give me the results. Whatever rows I don't want, they can be easily ignored. Like removing the rows is an easier part, but the main part of splitting it became very easy. Will that help? You're on mute. Uh, actually, I have three sheets. I need to combine in. Uh, mm. and, okay. Uh, combine also. Okay. So let's go some other route. Column C. Okay. Column B actually. This was the original scenario, right? Ah, uh, yes. Now, I will close this and open one Excel file. Now, when you want to combine, when you want to clean also and do several things, then Power Query is better. Okay. Only problem of Power Query is maybe it will not be able to trim it properly, but we will see. Okay. Com combination ka angle, I will show you. So I will go here. In fact, I can show it to you in Power BI. So that will be easy. We, we will be able to see both the places. Okay. I will go for a new report.
and if you feel that combination will take more efforts yes it is it will make your process automated but if it takes more effort because your files are yearly so one by one manually you can copy it's paste it is uh, account number wise 567 it's not here uh, monthly okay. i am getting combined and okay. so i will do import data from excel is that Excel? It was in download folder. And this was the file. It is showing all of them, right? Yeah, uh, 567, yeah. So first I will show you first and then transform data. You need to go through Power Query section, like Power BI section two course or Power Query course. Okay. Oh, but okay. Yeah. Pe dekhte hai. So what it has done, it has selected the sheet 2005. Okay. Yeah. Now look at these steps. These are auto generated. If I remove this step, if I remove this step, look at this step, what it is saying sheet should be 2005 sheet should be 2005 if i remove this also it shows me all the sheets which one i am interested in uh, i am interested in actually the sheets then i will select the required sheets so i am interested in 2005 2006 2007 these were something additional which you were doing i will just keep them so these are the three sheets which you are interested in okay okay yeah. and here we have this data i can open it but before that these columns are not important to me additional column this is the main column data so what I will say, right click and remove other columns. And now I will expand it. So it puts all the items one below other from the three rows, the three sheets. Okay. okay. So this is how you will combine if it is cleaned already or not cleaned, but this is how you will combine. Now, I will not go into the consolidation process. Let's go easy. Let's take this data, only 2005 data. So this is your single sheet, which we were discussing. So what I will do until row number nine, we don't want anything, right? That's yeah. just some information. So I will say, please remove rows from top. And how many? Only eight rows because ninth row is having something which is important for me. Yeah. Okay. Then, okay, this column two is because we have written it. Otherwise, this was not originally, right? Only yeah. column one was having the data. So I will focus on column one, remove other columns. Now you can see here, first of all, what we can do, we can remove the blank rows. We can remove the blank rows, right? Mm. So this made our data a little bit clear. Mm. Now the second line we don't want. The fourth line we don't want as per you. The sixth line we don't want, right? Yeah. Correct? Yeah, we don't. Yeah, no, no need. So here in the remove rows, there is an option of remove alternate rows. Mm -hmm. So when I click on that, okay. it is asking me first row to remove. I would say second. That is second row to be removed, first one. Okay. okay, the first row which needs to be removed is the second row. Number of rows to remove? One. Okay, one. And number of rows to keep? Again, one. 
I'm trying this first time for your case because I'm not seeing this kind of case. Is it? No, I think it is wrong. Let's. Yeah, the, the sum column. Uh, last option, I think this. Interest calculated amount is. Just wait. Okay. So this option we need to figure out. Let's say if I keep 10. Mm. This will happen only through this. We just need to identify. Okay. I have one more option. Okay. What I will do. I will add a column here and I will add index. I will add an index. I'm adding an index. What I can do, I can divide this index with maybe divide it by okay or I think this modulo can, okay, let's divide it by two. So this is the result, right? Now, what is the pattern? Mm -hmm. If something is having 0.5, I want it. Okay. Otherwise, I don't want it. Isn't it correct? Yeah. I just wanted a pattern which can help me to get rid of the rows which I don't want or to keep the rows which I want. So I generated an index column which Power Query generates automatically the starting from 1 or starting from 0. Okay. And then here I got this division. Let's make it a uh, text. And I will say, can you please apply some filters, something which does not contain what it should not contain or something which should contain 0.5. Okay. So I will say, show me only something which contains 0.5 or other way. No, it was, it is correct, I guess. This looks I correct. think that alternate was also alternate was also work well. I think maybe this much data is correct. Think, yeah, <laughs> but the number of lines were reduced so much that I thought that it is not working. But it was working fine, I guess. If this is the result, yeah. let's try it again. I think the the row number fourteen is uh, additional row is there. Row row number fourteen. We will remove them later on, okay? Or we can do it right now. The number of rows itself are less, okay? First thing which you can do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven rows from the bottom you can knock off right away. Okay? So remove from bottom. It's all about pattern identification. Seven rows from bottom, they are also gone. So now this is the data. In fact, it should be eight rows, not seven. Eight rows. And now remove alternate rows. No, no, actually, row 14, uh, there's empty rows. Oh, yeah, row 14 needs to be deleted before we apply anything. Okay. Right. Will it be better now? Yeah. Alternate rows. First row to remove, I think second. Number of rows to remove, one only. Number of rows to keep, one. And click OK. And yeah, now it's yeah, yeah. Nice. Now you just need to separate it somehow. Let's try to split it. Now problem of Power Query is Power Query has a trim function. 
but it doesn't work well with the in between spaces it works well with the starting and ending one so we'll have to find that solution if it is possible to split it properly or not split uh date date space let's go with delimiter space So if let's say this doesn't split properly, what I would do, I will, no, it is not splitting properly. I will remove the space in Excel and then do the job here. So that additional column, which we added in 2005, I will just create that much column. And after that, I will use Power Query to do everything. Because once it is, like space is only kept once, then it is easy for Power Query to do it. If it is a constant number of spaces, then we can use this also here. Replace values. So whatever number of spaces are there, type those many spaces and replace it with only one. But I believe that it is not constant number of spaces between the sections. Sometimes it is 10, sometimes it may be five like that. So we, we need to be sure of the pattern. Excel can do it. Power Query can do it. It's just that one time setup, one time investment with that process is required. But I think by now you might have got a lot of ideas to improve the working. Right. So this is a great okay. help. I'm wasting my time monthly. Every month I'm getting three sheets from time. Manually uh -huh. I come back. Thank you. Okay. Try these things and maybe... Uh, whatever stage you reach, next time we can continue with that. Thank you. Okay. Next question, guys. Uh, what you can do, guys, uh, maybe Shreyash or someone, you can put it on the WhatsApp group. Okay. Uh, and let this be a, an assignment for everyone. Okay, Excel, through, whatever. Okay. Okay. This will be a good assignment. Next, I have some questions. Row number 20. Okay, Nimesh, yes, taken care. Some combinations in 14 and 15, I think done. Okay, Mahinder says, I don't have Excel files now, but I want to consolidate the trial balance of three different. You can use the same approach, Mahinder. Some heads are same, but most of them are different. Okay. We will have to see the data then only we can suggest. Okay. But check section two of Power BI or maybe uh, initial two, three sections of Power Query. You will get a lot of ideas to combine things automatically from a folder. Okay. Who is next? Uh, Sharvin, you were asking something. If no one is coming up, then I'm okay. Yeah. And yeah. Earlier is, uh, I mean, is there anybody who wants to discuss it or can I go ahead? If they are not coming up, that means you can go ahead. <laughs> they should take that action. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, earlier, well you know the sales sales uh, 2023 and 2020 uh, sorry 2022 and 2023 you share your screen so if i have a forecast yeah so oh well just a second forecast is there in different file no actually i didn't bring it here uh, but you just give me an idea that's that's would be help me because i have i don't have it right, right now with me or well, you need a file so, in order to see it. So uh, then don't share if you don't have the file. The thing is what you will do. First, bring the forecast. Forecast, I, I'm assuming that for 2023, only forecast would be there, the latest year, right? Previous years, generally, we don't matter. Right? Is no, that yeah, correct. So okay. just, uh, yeah, that's the case. I mean, uh, because this is a sample which I'm doing it, so for that, I can do it in the further... Uh, so on 2023 versus table. 2020. It will be a separate table yeah. for forecast. Once that uh, forecast comes, try to identify these similar informations on both the tables. One, the actuals, and the one, 
which is the forecast and mm -hmm. i believe labor type or the category these will be the ones these will be the ones and after that you just do the relationships between them okay you have yeah, to do but the, the forecast basically yeah, the question is that on the forecast, I'm not going to get all the labor types uh, because it's just like a combined uh, from so you will have the sales category. only which I'm taking it. You will have the category at category, least. Um, yes, I'll have a category, yes. And months? I'll have a category. Uh, in a month, and yes. TK, yeah. uh, we will relate it at that level. Okay. Okay. All right. Bring that so, next time so you and mean, we will continue this discussion. Okay. Sure. Without uh, mean, the yeah. file, it will not make sense okay, to anyone. Yeah, true, true. I'll get into, uh, I'll get the file, sample file in the next one. Yeah. Okay. Thank uh, sure. Someone pasted Thank something. You. What was that? Arvind, how are you? What's going up? I'm doing very well. At least uh, this uh, week I was very busy with other stuff, so didn't get chance to go over some videos and while. Okay, no problem. Uh, but the data, the, I'm just uh, attending it to see what other people have questions, and you know, mm. you can help me later. Good. But I see one of the interest uh, balance calculations. I mean, too much problems in the data. Although it was a very small number of rows. And yes, this is helping. Yes, uh, whatever is the Excel formula help required, please share your screen, ask question, no problem. Kanjana? You have to speak also? Yes. So what is the question here? You are using very, very old Excel, so upgrade. What is the question over here? You have to unmute yourself. You are on mute. Yeah. Yes. What is the question? Yeah, my question is, um, if you can see on my Excel, yeah, it's uh, showing the inventory number. Yeah. Okay. This is like the, for example, the registration number. So, okay. and then the other one is the, the pending job. So, I want to know to VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP from this one to this one. But as I, as I can see, it's not like the same format. Mm. Yeah. So how can I trim that? Like, because I this is the, uh, my Excel is uh, is not uh, 365, so I don't have that, that split uh, liberty to use. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. just help me on the formula. How can I fix all of this? So, so I first can you need to yeah. make them uniform. Okay. Exactly. So can first you help you me? Make them uniform. I will take the control of your screen so that yeah. we can move faster. And there will be a couple of functions. Any ideas, guys? What all we will do? I have some ideas, but you can suggest others. So the thing is column A and column B are having similar things. But because sometimes there is there is an space, but on the other side there might be an hyphen, okay, or maybe without hyphen. That's why it is not able to. She is not able to match, okay. So what can we do? Tell me what can we do? I've requested the control of your screen. Please share. <laughs> Shreyas, Dinesh, Excel champs. Whoever it Maybe is. just to remove the space between. I have tried to remove all the, like, the dash. You know, what, the spaces. Are, are you sure that they will always put space? Yeah. Are you sure they will always put space at least in between or they can put continuous? If you see row number four, they have not kept any space or hyphen. Column B. Yeah, anything that it can be uniform for everyone. So it can be easy to match to each other. So, so my problem is how to fix it. Yeah, like this. 
that like this doesn't have this one doesn't have so okay. this one doesn't have yeah yes someone was giving some ideas who was he and what was the idea come on be fast right wrong that's fine okay so let me go so what i will do to make them uniform is i will recreate these columns and i will try to avoid these hyphens as well as these spaces i will just keep everything continuous because my problem is they, they might type hyphen they might type space or they might not type it so why don't we take everything out and just keep the actual text which is important okay so how to do that there is a function known as substitute okay subs i don't know substitute that's the function name let's see if it is there in this excel it's there so how does substitute works so substitute says give me a text and then i will work on it what is the old text the old text is hyphen sorry i need to type it in double quotes what is the new text and i will say the new text is nothing so i will not put anything inside the double quotes and close the bracket over here close the bracket over here when i press enter what happens it has taken out that hyphen it has taken out that hyphen so i believe that first column is having the same pattern right there is no space it's only the hyphen oh no the space is also there there is space in 104 yeah yes and 107 also if the space is there then i will use this output and do this job again with this space that i need to take this space also out okay so what i will do i will write substitute before this again now my text the new text which is coming out of this formula that becomes my original text after this i will say take space away and don't give me anything i am assuming hyphen and space these are the only possibilities which they are trying if they are having more varieties more creativity then your job becomes difficult so when i put enter now i will just keep it together so that i can drag it down so this is my continuous text the important text which should be considered okay Perfect. Everything. Thank you. Because I used to do the the column, uh, the delimiter also in Excel, but it doesn't work that much because they have different uh, spaces. So this is the best formula. Thank you so much. Wait, wait. We will do the second part also. <laughs> so this is part one. Now second also we need to reframe like this. Then only they will be able to match, right? So I will copy the formula from here. Control C. and i am just trying to type it here and i will say that please work on column b okay i don't want to do it again okay so these are the two columns now if you want to see it visually what you can do you can apply conditional formatting maybe so let's say we take both of them conditional formatting highlight cell rules and duplicate values if you just want to know what is common what is not common so anything which is coming pink or red that is common somewhere up or down it is there okay that is the form that is the uh, one of the process the second process is maybe you can write 
a function known as match match this value which which one is having bigger list of items inventory or the pending jobs out of the two columns which one is bigger list you're on mute inventory Akalish. no inventory so i will write it other way i will say my screen is behaving late okay so i will not use this one c2 i will check d2 because inventory is better one right to find so i will find d2 where in column c exactly comma comma zero can you type it i think my mouse is not working properly comma zero press enter right and drag it down drag it down or double click it yeah double click so you can see wherever the number is coming that item is there in the inventory if the number is not coming that item is not there Simple. Yeah. and it matches with the colors also right so that means yeah. that was also working fine. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. But upgrade your Excel. Next question, guys. Last question. No questions? Yeah, uh, I think there was another way how to uh, tidy up uh, Sanzana's uh, uh, Excel. Okay. Just my thought. It was like, uh, why can't we put, uh, you know, sort and filter, and then you get into ascending. And then when you duplicate, you highlight the reds, and then you try to match here. After cleaning, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, possible. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that also. It depends on whether it is a one-time job or it is a recurring job. If it is one time, then I will do many ways. If it is, if it has to be done regularly, then I will go for formulas. Yeah. Because even if I do conditional formatting or sorting and all, they require my effort. Okay. But if I write the formula, I will paste the new numbers next time and then it is working automatically. In fact, I would do it using Power Query. I will take away hyphen easily from there. No need to write substitute function. I will take away space from both the places and then I will try to like do some kind of merging. Okay. That would be even better. But initially, I think formulas are better. Okay. But actually, we can put that formula, the same thing in uh, Query, yeah? No, like we, we, would not, we would not need formulas at all. <laughs> Power query, okay. that's the beauty, right? Less formulas. Okay. okay. Yeah. Next one. Mm -hmm. Nay questions. Chale fir ghar. Dinner kare. Okay. Let's have. Nothing to discuss. Yes, Prashant. Nothing so today. Not practice this week. No, no. query. <laughs> no Next query. week, definitely. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you so much and see you soon. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Have you. a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye.